seller financing, man. Seller financing, y'all. Who doesn't love a little seller financing, dude? If you can get seller financing in the real estate industry, man, that's the best type of financing, dude. I bought like friggin' five or six million dollars worth of real estate via seller financing, dude. It's it's rare when you get it. Uh, it's rare to get it, right? Because it's usually better for the buyer than the seller, right? So if you could ever uh, get yourself into a deal uh, where you can get seller financing, it's almost always going to be awesome. But, but you still have to do due diligence on the asset, right? If you can do the right deal and include seller financing in it, you could make a ton of money. I've done so. But you got to be careful, guys. You got to watch out. You might run into some predatory sellers who are trying to trick you, trying to distract you with this seller financing, and they might be trying to rip you off. And that might be what's happening today to my client, Radu. But don't you worry, Radu. Your boy Jay Wise is here to keep your money in the good deals, keep it out of the bad deals. And we're going to talk about this seller finance deal that you are looking at. And I'm going to uncover if it's actually a good deal or if someone is trying to take advantage of you. I am James Wise and I am here to help you make money. I'm going to be running the numbers on a real deal you want to be here yeah we're gonna go out of state but of course you know my team's gonna take care of that let's check it out welcome to the show y'all this is the show where your boy jay wise that's me helps you guys get your money into good deals helps you keep your money out of bad deals right and my man radu uh you're thinking about doing this particular deal right here right you're thinking about buying this house Okay, it's in the Cleveland market, and this particular house caught your attention because they're offering you seller financing, and I happen to be a seller financing expert. I've done all kinds of seller finance deals, millions of dollars, even gotten involved in like JVs with cross collateralization of like three or four properties, and you cross collateralize some other assets. I've done it all, man. I get I get pretty wild and complicated on some of my creative finance deals that I put together, right? But at the end of the day, uh, it's got to be, you know, kind of a win-win for it to work, right? And just because seller financing is being offered to you doesn't mean it's always going to be a good deal. And that's what's happened to you here, Radu, man. This guy is actually, uh, in my opinion, trying to rip you off, dog. Uh, check out this deal, right? 11801 Lena Crave Ave, Cleveland, 44105. Uh, he's trying to sell it to you for $59,900 via seller financing. To be honest with you, bro, uh, he's trying to rip you off, okay? This house is not worth anywhere near $59,900, dude. It's worth, in my opinion, less than half of that, right? The moment I looked at this, I was like, oh, fifty nine nine for this property in this area? No. You, you can't do that deal. And then I just did a little digging, too. I'm like, dude, what is the seller trying to do here? What is he thinking? Is he bought it, like, many years ago, doesn't understand the market? And then it gets even worse, right? It's like, no, I think this guy's just trying to screw you over, right? Because look what I found. He literally bought this, uh, like, 75, 80 days ago, okay, for 30 grand, right? So he just bought it, and then he's just like, I just bought this thing for 30 uh, let me just double the price and offer it to somebody else for owner financing. So uh, that's just even more uh, evidence to the fact that this is a, this is a dud, bro. I, I don't care what his seller finance terms are, dude. He's try it doesn't matter if you get like a low interest rate, right? You get like 3%, you got to put down 10%. Who cares, bro? Because <laughs> you'd be paying $60,000 for a house that I, I don't even actually think it's worth 30, right? I think he might overpay it. I think it's maybe worth like 25, right? So I don't care how good the terms are, guys. You can't pay more than double uh, what it's worth. So, Radu, I don't even want you looking into this deal any further. We don't even need to get into the weeds, get into the details, Um of the cash on cash return type numbers of the market rents of this or of that because you can't you can't pay 60k for a 25 to 35k asset right you're either gonna make money on the day you buy it or you're gonna lose money on the day you buy it and this guy he's trying to pull one over on you but don't worry bro that's why you have me folks if you're an out-of-state investor and you're thinking about investing in cleveland like my guy Radu here do not make the mistake of jumping into a deal before you get my take on it, right? I cut it to you straight. And 
by my math, Radu, I don't know, in the last five minutes, I just saved you $30,000, $35,000, right? So the small fee my company charges to make these videos for you guys will pay off tenfold, a hundredfold, a thousandfold, a millionfold. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys want to get your money into the good deals and keep them out of the bad deals like this piece of crap, just like my guy Radu did uh, below the video, Give my team a call. Uh, we'll talk to you how you can work one-on-one. -on -one. And Radu, you stay tuned for the next one, brother. Because uh, this ain't it, man. This ain't your bag. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.